Hallelujah. Oh, bless Yahweh. Praise Him, holy people. Hallelujah. 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 I feel myself getting excited. Hallelujah. I can get carried away in Yahweh. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. And we are, we are, I'm going to continue from last Sabbath. And we're talking about sanctifying ourselves. Sanctified by Yahweh. Hallelujah. Because we come to learn that we cannot sanctify ourselves. We don't have the ability to sanctify ourselves. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. There's something I want to share with you, you know. The Sabbath has always been a special day for me. There is a time that I see myself being revived. We go from day to day. But I look forward to the Sabbath. Yes. And it reminds me of his laws. He said, remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. And as Yahweh is preparing a people and a place, we have to prepare ourselves for Yahweh. So we have to sanctify ourselves in his laws. And keeping the Sabbath Honoring the Sabbath is a part of that sanctification. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We're going to start with the scripture that we read last Sabbath, Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 34. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Young Sister Kira, um, could you be our sister there? One of those Bibles from the back there. Hallelujah. We want everybody to get a piece of this. That's it. Don't miss this. No. You miss this, you miss old age. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 34. Say, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats, he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you, from the foundation of the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So the time is coming that Yahweh is going to make that separation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But our job now is to separate ourselves. Mm -hmm. See, when Yahweh comes, we already being separated. Hallelujah. He just got to take us and place us on the right. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. And if you turn with me to Genesis chapter 2, verse 3. Hallelujah. Going back to the very sheet. To the beginning. Hallelujah. Genesis. Genesis chapter 2, verse 3. <clears throat> and it says, And Elohim blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which Elohim created and made. Hallelujah. Here, here we see that. Yahweh blessed the seventh day and he sanctified it. Hallelujah. And not only that he blessed it and sanctified it, but we also see that he gave it a name. All the other rest of days were numbered, but the seventh day was given a name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And what did Yahweh do? He set it apart. He set it apart. But in it, he rested from his labor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we got to follow these patterns of the scripture. And we got to do as Yahweh has commanded us. See, you need no more time for us to play church. That's it. See, we've been, we've been going in, the, in, in those two days. But now we reach to the third day, the day of perfection. Hallelujah. 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 When we do the research, we will see how 
for Yahweh. Take great interest in this day. See, if Yahweh set aside, he set apart the Sabbath day, we have to do this as well. The scripture tells us that we have to be like-minded of the Messiah. And every Sabbath he finds himself in the sanctuary teaching his people. Healing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, Yahweh tells us that we are to sanctify ourselves in his laws. See, when we reach to the point that we sanctify ourselves, we don't have to worry. Because he said that he is going to take sickness from among us. Hallelujah. And I think it has been proven and spoken here this day Hallelujah. how sickness are being taken out of our Hallelujah. midst. Hallelujah. So that's all I encourage us yes. to continue in yes. his laws. Hallelujah. 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 Bless Yahweh. Bless Hallelujah. Yahweh. Turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 5. Hallelujah.
See, Yahweh, the position we are in to the enemy, he is smothering our way of worship, true worship. My, my, my. And I went to the, the employer and I tell them, I said, I've come into the knowledge of the truth and I'll be worshiping on Saturday now, which is the Sabbath. And this was around October, November. And I tell them, I said, that I would work the rest of the year out. But when the new Babylon year rolled in, I said, I won't be working on Saturdays anymore. I'm going to be honoring the Sabbath. I tell it to the employer voice. And he said, yeah, 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 we're working out with the supervisor. But I always intended to go to the supervisor after I finished dealing with him. So I went to the supervisor and I told him. I told him the same thing that I told the employer. I said, I'm going to work the rest of the year out. But when the new Babylon year come in, I'm going to be honoring the Sabbath. And I work the rest of the year out. And when the new year come in, I began to hold the Sabbath. And it began to take me to new levels. And I began to find the light in the Sabbath. I began to look forward to the Sabbath. The, the, the commandment tells us that we are to remember the Sabbath, to keep it holy. So, as I began to walk in the Sabbath, I began to remember it. I began to make preparation of it. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. And my delight is in the Sabbath. I now look forward to the Sabbath. I look to the Sabbath with expectations. Hallelujah. Yahweh is bringing us into a wealthy place. We have to start remembering the Sabbath, making preparations. For the Sabbath. Nothing makes me angry when I have to do something on the Sabbath. I become all comical then. My household could justify to that. You see me gotta get up and do something because situation forced me out there to do something on the Sabbath. I comical then. You see my mind is on Yahweh. See the Sabbath. There's something we need to understand about Yahweh's Sabbath. Not our Sabbath. Yahweh's Sabbath. Come on now. Hallelujah. Because one time I had a brother doing some work for me. And I told him that he'll have to wait to get paid at sunset on the Sabbath. I tell him I worship on Saturday and honor the Sabbath. But he finished the work and he began to run me down for the money. <laughs> and, he, and he told me, he said, I say, I say, young man, you, you, you gotta wait till sunset. I ain't conducting business on the Sabbath. Yeah, and he said, I'm, uh, yeah, I know, I know that's your Sabbath, but t -t tomorrow is my Sabbath. <laughs> you see, the Sabbath is not our Sabbath. Okay. It is Yahweh's Sabbath. Okay. See, anytime we reach to the place okay, that we own, we take our own of it, we're going wrong. Yeah. Bye, bye, bye. In Isaiah chapter 1, <laughs> Yahweh tell his people, your Sabbath and your feast days, I hate. See, anytime we reach to a point that we change a Sabbath or we, or we divide it from them, he doesn't own it anymore. It becomes yours. So the Sabbath is in mind. It is Yahweh's Sabbath. Hallelujah. And we got to sanctify that day. This day we have to, this is the day that Yahweh has blessed. You ever notice throughout our land, the merchants, how they rake in the money on this day? This is the day Yahweh bless. That's it. And because it is a blessed day, the enemy use it to his advantage to pull people away from the worship of Yahweh. They wouldn't close the store on the Sabbath. That day you can make a whole lot of money. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yahweh sanctified the Sabbath. So we have to sanctify it too. If we're going to follow him, Yahweh say, you are to keep my Sabbath.
and reverence my sanctuary. We supposed to find ourselves in the sanctuary on the Sabbath. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 23 tells us that six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yahweh, the Sabbath of rest, a holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of Yah in all your dwellings. Wherever we may live, wherever we go, we are to remember the Sabbath. We are to sanctify it. We are to keep it holy. We are to present ourselves. See, there's something about the Sabbath. The Sabbath, the scripture tells us in Colossians chapter 2, it tells us that let no one make sport of you or talk about you or discourage you in any type of way because of the Sabbath keeping or a feast day or a new moon. For they are shadow of things to come. When the Sabbath is one of those, Shadow of things to come. Hallelujah. In the Sabbath, hallelujah, in the Sabbath, Yahweh has given us a small taste of what is to come. When we rest from our labor and we worship, hallelujah, what you think we're going to be doing in the kingdom of Yahweh? We're going to be resting and glorifying Yahweh all, all, all eternity. So the Sabbath is a day that we ought to take very seriously. Even though we find ourselves waking on the Sabbath, don't give up hope. Hallelujah. 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 Continue to pray to Yahweh to bring you out of Egypt. That's it. You see, we got to get that wilderness experience. Hallelujah. See, there's something when Yahweh brings you out of Egypt and you continue to disobey. We will find ourselves in Babylon. See, so when we reach into the wilderness experience, the wilderness experience helps you and keeps you and condition you to endure the trials of Babylon. Hallelujah. 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 I don't want to go into Babylon weak. We're living in a Babylon system now. And the Roman soldiers of Babylon are having their way. And we didn't take serious the wilderness experience. So we are not enduring the challenges or the troubles of Babylon. Hallelujah. 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 It's a reason why the children of Israel wander around in cycles for 40 years. A journey would only take three days. Took 40 years. Hallelujah. They just couldn't get it right. Yahweh gave them his laws, but they just was too rebellious in their ways. They just couldn't get it right. So they end up wandering around 40 years in the wilderness. Here we are celebrating 40 years in the history of our land of independence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophet, it's time to possess the land. Hey. It's time to cross over. Yes. Hallelujah. So we got to take the word of Yahweh seriously and we got to sanctify ourselves in his laws. Yes. We got to find the light in Yahweh. We got to find our joy in him for the joy of Yahweh is our strength. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh say we are to keep the Sabbath. We are to rest on this day and have a holy convocation. And the Sabbath just don't consist of the seventh day. Hallelujah. There are also seven high holy days throughout the year. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yahweh's feast. Anybody in here don't know those seven high holy days of Yahweh, the feast of Yahweh? I believe we all are familiar with Yahweh's Sabbaths, the seventh day and the high holy days. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. Turn with me to Exodus chapter 23. Exodus chapter 23. Verse 13. Yahweh.
always say, speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generation that ye may know that I am Yahweh that do it sanctifies you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See it getting very interesting here. Yahweh said, it is a sign. When you keep the Sabbath, when you honor the Sabbath, it is a sign between me and you. There's something to encourage us to continue. We got to fight. We got to contend for it. We can't let it slip through our grasp. Hallelujah. 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 Yahweh say, Yahweh tell Moshe, say, tell the children of Israel, speak this to them and let them know. You keep the Sabbath. All of my Sabbaths. If you notice here, it's plural, meaning more than one, not just the seventh day, but the high holy days as well. He said, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign. This sign is a sign of sanctification. Hallelujah. When we want to sanctify ourselves, we have to walk in the laws of Yahweh. If Yahweh set some things in place and He call it sanctified, and we walk in them. Are we not walking a part of sanctification? So we cannot leave them out. We have to sanctify ourselves in His laws. Hallelujah. 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 Bless Yahweh. Yahweh say, it is a sign between me and you. Hallelujah. That he may know that I am yet Yahweh who sanctifies you. Hallelujah. We gotta pay attention, you know. We gotta pay attention. Yahweh say, if you keep this, this right here, this is a sign of this is a seal of approval. We in covenant. Yeah. You hear what he say? Speak thou also unto the children of Israel. See, Israel is covenant. Israel is a covenant name. These are a people that we are in covenant with. Hallelujah. When we search the scripture, we saw that Yahweh told Jacob, say, from now on, your name will be Israel. We in covenant. We move into covenant. So Yahweh is telling his covenant people that you are to keep my Sabbath. And when you keep and honor my Sabbath, this is a sign. We in covenant. I keep in you. Hallelujah. 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 Bless you. I'll that sound good. But for that sound good to know that I am in covenant yes. with the mighty one. Hallelujah. The mighty one of Israel. Hallelujah. He who can catch the wind. He who tells the ocean, you can only come this far. Yes, Whose words and no one can catch a falling star. Hallelujah. 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 Bless Yahweh. He is awesome. You know how he's getting emotional, excited, just giving thanks and praise to the mighty one who we say can do all things, who cannot fail, who is infinite in all his ways. He said, keep my Sabbaths. Obey my word. For it is I who sanctifies you. Hallelujah. And then he goes as far as to say, when you keep this day, when you honor this day, when you find the light in this day, when you separate this day, Hallelujah. it's a sign. Hallelujah, that we are in covenant. Hey. This is a sign to show the world, hey, these people, they're doing something over there. Hallelujah. How is the world going to see and know who you serve? If you don't make a difference, if you do what the world do, you are a part of the world. So we got to separate ourselves from the world. And we got to obey Yahweh's word. 
For in his word, there is hope. In his word, there is healing. In his word, there is salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. It is truly good to know who got my back. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh said, these are my feasts. These are my feasts. Holy convocations. Come together. Gather yourself together before me. See, when Yahweh tells us to come before him, when he tells us to gather ourselves and rest and worship, hallelujah, he already in that place. Because he command you to do this. He's not going to gather us and then leave us and wonder what we're doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gather us that we may learn of him. That we may experience him. And when he began to dwell in our praises, hallelujah, when we begin to walk in truth, when we begin to sanctify ourselves, things is going to happen. A people that is separated unto him, Yahweh says, it is me who suffered you from the world. Hallelujah. I call you to be mine. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. You are to put difference mm. between clean and unclean. Ba, 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 ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Sabbath is one of the first laws of sanctification. Mm. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Sabbath. <coughs> that was to keep my Sabbath and reference my sanctuary. So when we come before Yahweh, we got to come before him expected. Hallelujah. We're coming into the presence of greatness. Mm. Mm. Whose ways is far beyond our understanding. Hallelujah. He is infinite in all Hallelujah. his ways. Yes. All. And he said, as high as the heaven is above, Hallelujah. that's how high my thoughts are from Hallelujah. your thoughts. Thank you, Father. Words cannot even form in our mouth. To explain his greatness. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Job said, when he passes by, I am unable to see him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he told me, little old me, who been lost in the world, from that time, from the day I passed through creation, he told me, if you honor my word, if you keep my staff, Choose, it will be a sign between me and you that we are in covenant. You belong to me. Hallelujah. I want to belong to him. I want to prove to him that I am his. For he is all our father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. Bless Yahweh. See, we got to sit down and think about this thing very carefully. Some things we just have to let go. Some things just got to go. It won't be wearing us down. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless Yahweh. Turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 17. Jeremiah chapter 17. Hallelujah. See, we got to be clear about one thing. We don't have the ability to sanctify ourselves. So if we want to be sanctified, we have to obey his laws. We have to keep his statutes. Hallelujah. That is the problem in the world today. Why judgment is raining on the earth. According to Isaiah. Yeah, we say the judgment raining on the earth because... They have changed his law. They have broken his laws and changed his ordinances and broken the everlasting covenant. And he told Jeremiah, and Jeremiah looked and saw the people, his people going off into captivity. And Jeremiah sat down and wept because he knew it was a disobedience to Yah's laws. Yeah. It's in particular, his feast, 
His servants. Hallelujah. 